Hey, what's up? I uh, have another idea for a video today. wanted to show you guys. Uh, I already made a video on like a DIY air pot, fabric pot thing that I did with a net pot and some landscaping fabric. And I had another idea and I actually was able to do it. But you see a lot of people, they'll make grow bags out of like the fabric... Uh, the reusable shopping bags you get at like Walmart and stuff or, you know, at the grocery store when you check out, you can usually buy them uh, or so you can not waste plastic bags. But uh, a lot of people will make those into grow bags, you know, namely outdoors because they're also huge. But I found something at the Dollar Tree, actually a couple things. But one of the things I found, and they actually have a couple sizes of these, but these are the smallest ones. Uh, are these these little they're just they're in the craft department so they're for for like crafts and whatever you want to do but uh, they're basically like a miniature reusable shopping bag they're made out of the the same material it's it's a it's almost identical to landscaping fabric but uh, I guess that's why a lot of people use them for the grow bags but you know it doesn't have a bottom like most of your uh most of your shopping bags will have a square bottom, so it's really easy to fill. But these ones, they don't have it, which you could probably just fill it with dirt and it would sit up and everything or whatever. But I came up with an idea kind of based on the uh, uh, the DIY fabric pots that you'll watch people make. Okay, and this, this one is actually uh, wider than it is tall. And normally if you were like sewing these, if you haven't checked any out, checked out any of those videos you could watch those but normally they're uh half as wide as they are are tall so you know it's it's equal or more equal that way but this one is actually wider than it is tall so it's going to make a rectangular uh bag so when you fold these ends and all you got to do is you know fold them fold them in to make a a bottom and since this is rectangular, it's going to go the opposite way, if you can see here. But, and that, this is this is how I'm doing it now. You could do this with a sewing machine, and it'd probably be better. Which, that's another thing that, that you know, you could mention about these is they're obviously not made with, uh, like, polyester uh, thread or anything. So if they're using them outdoors or for soil, they're probably eventually gonna fail but as you can see how I did this here I just folded it to where it sits sits basically with a flat bottom and it's pretty equal in there and if I just pinch it I can show you all I did here I just basically folded it to where it was equal you know a rectangular shape and if you don't have a sewing machine this is kind of what I came up with and I've done this once already I'll show you that one here in a minute but all you got to do is once you got it folded over where you want it to be just run a safety pin through the middle of it hold both pieces together make sure it goes all the way through uh, both flaps and the bottom of the pot and then hook it through clip it okay and that'll sit down and then when you set it on the ground kind of work it out a little bit it'll sit up just like that and then you got like a miniature a miniature little grow bag and that's all there is to it but uh, I took it one step further because if you're in an indoor setting you don't want the water leaking all over so I found something else at the Dollar Tree that worked perfect for this and it's this these are just like little desk organizers or pencil organizers or something it's just a little one it's a uh, six and a half long by three and a th or six and three quarters long by three and three quarters wide and it just so happens that it fits perfect it's pretty sweet and then you got your little bag and you got your drip pan uh, it just it's it, it's perfect it's one of them things that just fits nicely so then once you fill it, you can even tuck these under like this. You can tuck them under like that if you want. 
and it kind of holds it down, holds it square, you know, and it, it'll hold it still, or you don't have to do that. And then just fill it with your soil and you put either start your seeds or transplant your plant into this and and there you go there's your there's your DIY mini uh, fabric pot or grow bag so this this is just another idea I came up with you know for the cheap uh, fabric pots that you don't have to sew so these bags they come in three packs and the pack you know obviously it's Dollar Tree so everything's a dollar and then these are a dollar as well. So two dollars, all right, no, two dollars and thirty-three, or a dollar and thirty-three cents, and that's what you get. So I'll show you, I'll go ahead and show you now one that I've got filled. Um, I'll go ahead and remove it from my little grow box here. But I just transplanted this a while ago. Uh, so that's what it looks like filled. Let me go ahead and take this out here. Um, yeah, so there we go. That's what it looks like in use. It's pretty neat. It's, it's you know, small size. I haven't measured this, but obviously since this is it's basically a 6x3 fabric pot, a 6 inch by 3 inch deep fabric pot. So, yeah, it's pretty nice. I think it's cool. And it works perfect for my... Uh, for my little micro grow box here that I build. Uh, yeah, pretty sweet. So there you go. Let me close this back up. There's the another fun-filled adventure from the Dollar Tree. You know, it just it's so easy. You don't have to sew it. The bags are three for a dollar. Um, they work really great if you need something smaller. Um, and again, this was my other idea with taking the fabric and lining the net pots kind of works it works I had it in one for a while and then I came up with this so I put it into this grow bag here so so yeah guys uh, that's it for this video go ahead and leave a comment check out my other videos check out my website indoormicro.com uh, and stay tuned for future videos I love doing this and uh, I hope to see you guys in the comments or wherever. All right. Thanks. Bye.